Hello, welcome to uh, this pre-cal video. Um, this tr video is about trig functions, uh, specifically what it means to be an odd function versus an even function. Um, basically what we have is some type of symmetry. Symmetry about one of the two origins. Okay, so let me write that in here. Odd functions exhibit some type of symmetry. Okay. Um, so what kind of symmetries do we have? Basically, there are two different types of symmetries that we're going to have here. They are, um, let me move this over here for a second, either symmetries about the y-axis. So let me do a little a graph here. This is the y-axis, and of course this is the x-axis. So something that we're quite familiar with, something like um, y equals x squared. Here's a parent function for every quadratic. y equals x squared looks like this, of course, a parabola that goes, uh, let's just say that went through the origin. Anyway, what it means to be symmetric about the y-axis is that every point over here on the right side, so here's some, here's some a value, right? That's some, some amount of, of x. Gives you some y value up here, f of a. In function notation. So that's a y value that goes with that specific x value. Now over here on the left side of the graph there's another equal distance x value. Okay so the distance from 0 to negative a is the same as the distance from 0 to a. Okay those are both the same distances. One's on the right side of the axis, one's on the left side of the axis. But what it means to be even is that the y values up here are the exact same. Okay, notice that the two y values for these two different x values are the same. So that's what it means to be an even function. Even functions have symmetry about the y axis. So everything on the right side of the y axis is the same as everything on the left side of the y axis. Now, what does that have to do for our trig functions? Indeed. Well, cosine, it turns out, is an even trigonometric function. So let me sketch real quick for you um, what it looks to be a cosine graph. So here's our x-axis and your y-axis. Um, cosine, the standard cosine has a period of 2 pi. So we'll put some 2 pi's on here and a negative 2 pi on the left. So pi in the middle of that and negative pi on that side. Well, cosine starts off at its maximum, which is uh, positive 1. And also, cosine will end at positive 1 for its uh, period. That means in the middle is going to be at the minimum or negative 1 when it's at pi. So these are different values of cosine. So it crosses the x-axis at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. So here's a little sketch, oops, missed it, of the cosine graph. Okay, now if you look at this, and I know that you are looking at it because you're watching the video, of course. If you're looking at this, you notice that um, here is your, sorry, here is your axis here. Here is your y-axis. And everything on the right side is equal, or rather, looks like it's a, a reflection of everything on the left side. So this is exhibiting some even symmetry. So what does it mean? Let's see. First, let's go back to our problem here that we have now. Okay. So we have uh, that f of a equals 0.75. That means that there's some value of x, some amount over here some amount where the y value is 0.75. Okay, so there's this distance. I have to go this distance in my x in order to have that as my y value. Okay, so this is my arbitrary distance a. So the question is, what is f of negative a? So if I go that same distance to the left of the y-axis, what is the y value at that point? Okay, because this is a 
even symmetry graph, you notice that the two y values are the exact same. So this answer is y is 0.75. Okay, so this is what it means to be an even function, that if you go a certain amount in the x direction, the positive x direction, and pick out that y point, it's the same as if you went in the left direction and you picked out that y point. Okay, so going right, here's that y value. Also going left, here's that same y value. So that's what it means to be an even function, and cosine is an even trig function. So then it might bring up the question, what's an odd trig function? Well, let's talk about that. <clears throat> well, if uh, cosine is even, that must mean sine is odd. So I'm going to draw for you really quick like the, um, the sine graph. So here's the y-axis and here's your x-axis. Uh, the normal standard period is, of course, 2 pi for sine, so we'll put that on here as well. Now, sine graphs differently than cosine. Sine starts at 0. The sine of 0 is 0, and the sine of 2 pi is 0. And in the middle, the sine of pi is also 0. So sine goes up to a maximum, back to 0, down to a minimum, and back to 0. And all this happens in a standard period of 2 pi. So let me do the same thing on the left side to complete this graph for two complete periods one positive and one negative. So here's my sine graph. This has a maximum of one and a minimum of negative one. And there we go. So the question is, if some value of b, y is at two-fifths. So if I'm going to go over, let's say I went over this far. This is my b value. So from here to here, that's the distance b that I'm going to go in the x direction. And it's telling me that the y value right here, even though it might not look like it, is 2 fifths, or 0.4. So there's 2 fifths, that's the value, my y value for this specific value of x. Okay, so I'm going b units in the right, and I'm going up to 0.25, that's the y value. So now I'm going to go b units to the left. Okay, now this is my negative b, sorry. C, negative B, so I'm going to the left, that same amount, and now guess where I'm going to go? I would have to get my y value is down. And because of the symmetry here, because the sine and cosine are the same, this is going to be negative 2 fifths. Okay, and this is what it means to be an odd function, that if I go right and up, that means I go left and down. Okay, so the answer to this question is going to be negative two-fifths. Okay, which is the definition of an odd function. That if the x value changes, then the y value will also change to go along with it. Okay, so hopefully that's good. You have some problems to do with that. Um, sine and cosine and their even and odd properties.